Ah, perfect. A great place to start a chill let's play in the freezing cold tundra. Okay, so to be honest, it's not such a terrible start. I mean, we've got some spruce trees, water, and it looks like a shipwreck in an iceberg. Okay, interesting start. Never had a compass, books, and feathers before. We'll take the free chest. Oh, don't mind if I do. I think we quite like this start. Now, just to find some place a little more warm to build in. And while we go searching for some place a little bit nicer, let's talk about the goals of this world. Oh, look, a village. Nice. So back when I started YouTube about two and a half years ago, my main goal was to learn how to build better. And hey, I think I accomplished it pretty well. A lot of my builds have done really, really well. And I think they've turned out quite nice. But I've kind of gotten a little bit off track. My building has stagnated. And my joy in making these videos has slowly deteriorated. YouTube has been quite fun, but honestly, I really don't like editing. Now, that's not to say this video is not going to be edited or fun, um, but it's definitely going to have a, a change of pace. Things are going to be a little bit more chill, a little bit more relaxed. And with that, I think it's going to fit my personality a whole lot better. Of course, we're still going to go on wacky adventures and get into lots of trouble and danger, but it won't be hardcore for a little while, and that'll be okay. I'm going to return back to the goals that I set for myself when we first started YouTube, and I'm going to return back to learning how to build better. I'm going to try and challenge myself with different build styles and aesthetics, or even with goals that I've never set for myself before, like building an entire village that looks better than the one behind me, or getting around to actually building a castle. And also, if I'm able to, I want to make a difference in your life. I want you to walk away from my videos and my channel feeling like maybe you've learned something. Maybe you just had a chance to take a break from the stresses of the world around you. Or maybe you just found a new friend in me. Whatever it is, I hope you're able to find it here. And with that, let's get started. So obviously we've done a bit of raiding, found ourselves a quick little pumpkin patch here that will gather up and there is of course a pillager outpost right over there that we're gonna have to check out because there may be some malaise and that nether fortress may actually give us some good resources so let's see what we can do this is actually kind of a cool portal i mean there's no actual portal here but it definitely has some sort of like platform type vibe to it let's see what's inside a golden axe may help us out quite a bit and some obsidian definitely down the road Grab that helmet. Let's see if we can uh, set some malays free and see if we can get some uh, sweet loot. And of course, escape with our life. That's that's the goal. Howdy, strangers. Just ignore me. I'm not actually here. Ouch. You didn't believe me. Oh my, oh my. Woo! Oh. That wasn't fun. This is carrots, wheat, iron, Ar arrows. Nice. And there are some malaise. Heck yes. Okay. Uh, here's the plan. Set a distraction. You're on him. Oh no. Bad idea. Bad idea. Ouch. Here you go. Here you go. Oh. Worth a shot. Okay. Um. Yeah, they're finding me. Awesome. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Woo, okay. Well, no, we haven't quite made it. We haven't quite made it. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> Quick, grab our bed. Go, 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 go. Okay, good. The ice is slowing them down. Let's get out of here before we get our heads chopped off again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're still coming. I think we're safe now. But uh, let's get through this icy spikes biome. And uh, I'll meet you once we found a better place to build a base. I think that this is it. The beautiful place filled with flowers, have a lovely mountain view, and back behind us here, we've got a cherry blossom biome, which I think is gonna be great for adding some texture and color to the area. But first, we've gotta find a way to build a starter base. So it's time to set up our spot here and then start gathering materials. <laughs> Uh, rookie mistake. Uh, I went too far from my bed and uh, night fell. And this is what we have. Go away. Get out. Go. There we go. 
I think I made it moving away quick. Okay. We're good. Everything's gonna burn now, except for the creepers who will hunt me down slowly and, and uh, surprise me and then blow me up, which will be fantastic. But good news is I did get quite a bit of coal so we can cook up some meat and potatoes. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you very kindly. Oh, you didn't have to. Why, thank you, sir. And now I'm gonna go spend many hours scrolling through Instagram, Pinterest, X, and Google to get some inspiration for this new starter house build. Surprisingly, I spent like 20 minutes and I got some inspiration. Let's go gather some blocks. Need a little bit of this. We'll need a touch of this. Plenty of this. Ooh, this could prove helpful. This is always a nice find. Hi, I see you over there. Oh, please don't come this way. I asked nicely. Fine. Well, at least we have this. Hooking up some iron real quick to make some shears. Because I think these will be a nice touch for our build. Gather up a few more materials and then we'll get started building. I think I've got just about everything I need, but I'm not quite sure. This is definitely a different experience for me as I usually design my builds in creative mode and then bring them over here using Lightmatica or something like that. While I may be doing some of that for some future builds, today I decided to not do that and just be a little bit more chill about everything that we're doing. I think it'll be fun. So we do have some stone cooking up in here. Got a little bit of extra cobblestone, you know, just in case we wanna do some texturing. Got some more cobble here. We're gonna be using some diorite. I know. Diorite's probably one of the grossest blocks in the game, but hey, it might just work. And of course, I brought some spruce trees over here to gather some more of that wood, as well as gathering some oak and birch back there if we need any of that. And uh, I think we're going to have some fun. We'll definitely have to go mining a little bit later to get some iron for some lanterns for around the house, but everything's coming together very nicely. Before we get started building, though, we're going to need to clear out some of this area of the grass some flowers and maybe even do a bit of terraforming to fill in some holes or things like that. The build may be a bit bigger than I'm anticipating, so let's see what happens. That looks a bit better. And I actually looked in that hole, and it looks like it'll actually be a really cool place for building a mine. So I might just leave this hole the way it is and uh, put something up around it a little bit later. But let's get started laying the foundation for our build. So to get started, I want to do a bit of these stone bricks here. So we've got a fairly decent layout here, but before we get any further, I do want to say that this build is inspired by Foxel on YouTube. I'm not wholly following their build tutorial, so what I do here may be a little bit different than what they're doing over there. Let's get back to the build. Let's go up a bit, about that high on each of the corners. Now I think we connect everything across the top here. So at this point, I've pretty much followed the tutorial to a T, except for a few things, like the types of doors that we used. In the uh, tutorial, they used dark oak doors, we used spruce, and then I did a bit more texturing as well. I think it looks kind of nice. Uh, now we've just got a few other things to do, and I'm going to kind of tweak things from here for my own design. I think I've got a few good ideas here and a lot of it will be decoration as well as building up stairs and different ways and different uses for the house. First thing, we're gonna grab a few stairs here, see if we can make it up high enough. We go one there. That actually works pretty well and gives us a little bit of room here in the back. So what we can do then is bring in some slabs. Then eventually in different spots, we'll cut out parts of the wall to put more slabs or actual blocks in as well as finding ways in the walls inside to put doors in different ways into the different rooms and figure out exactly what we're going to use each room for there is going to be a second floor and a porch so i'm kind of looking forward to this i love the way the actual build that voxel did and i'm very inspired to go based off of what she has built Some of you watching may have actually seen this build on Foxel's channel and are basically saying, hey, this is not a different view or work. It's definitely all Foxel's. Well, yes and no. 
I am working on making this my own by doing different things and tweaking it along the way. But I also did get very inspired by Foxhole, and we're going to use this build to inspire the rest of the builds in the area as we work on building our village. So that's part of the reason why I am using somebody else's build in this world, because I want to be inspired throughout the rest of the world. We've added a little bit of detail out on the front here before we've even really finished the top. We've got some awnings as you come out. Uh, we're going to need some stairs there for coming down. That's better. Now, these are things that I've never used before. I've never really used campfires as a decorative block aside from using it in a chimney. So this is new for me and I think I kind of like it. It looks it looks okay. Uh, so then we come up here, we've got some stairs that come up to the top here where we, of course, we've got some of our walls that we've textured coming up to the top. Pretty, It's pretty flat, pretty bland. So the next thing I'm thinking about doing is getting some of our diorite and coming out to the edge here, going up and taking it just about all the way around but we're gonna come in here just a touch probably about one there and then we're gonna leave space for some supports of these spruce logs and we'll carry it all the way around here I've got to be honest with y'all. I was really doubting diorite, and honestly, I kind of like it. I mean, that looks okay. It uh, It's not, not as bad, nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I think the next thing that we're going to need to do, of course, is get some more diorite to help finish that out, but I think also getting some sheep wool of the white variety will be helpful in texturing it. I was uh, having the LA help me out getting the white wool, and it just just came upon me. Um, one of the LA's is missing. I don't know where it is or what it's doing, but uh, well, it's, it's gone. <laughs> I guess we're moving on. We'll get some more later. Okay, now things are starting to look kind of interesting. I like the way everything is coming together. We've got a bit of a roof to put up and some more details to work on. So back to uh, watching everything burn around us. Back to wood gathering. Well, <laughs> That's unfortunate. Well, the main structure has been complete and I quite like the texturing that we did there. Although it does probably need a little work on future builds as we do this, texturing seems to be a bit of a weak point for me. Uh, it works okay, but it's not perfect. Now, there's a few other things I need to do, like cut out some windows here and here, um, some other sides of the building, and even on that little face right there, add some details like fences, plants, and all kinds of other fun goody things. Also, we're gonna need light on the inside and, and holes in the walls so we can actually go from room to room. But this has come together really, really well, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys are as well. And there she is. It is a beautiful house and a horrifying zombie. It is a beautiful house. And I will definitely say I pretty closely followed what Foxel did, but I did make a few tweaks in my own, like adding some texture to the walls with different types of blocks. And I even used diorite, which she used quartz in her build. And there's some other things that are a little bit different as well. Um, so I'm not going to take ownership for this build, but it's definitely one that I'm going to use to inspire the rest of the ones that I put in this area. Now, I have not watched anything about an interior, so we're going to give this one a shot ourselves. We've got a little bit going on in here, and we even have, it looks like a small storage room that we can use. And up here, the same story. We have to figure out some sort of thing to do here for the porch. And an interior in here. So why don't we just get to work? And with a bit of TLC, we have a kitchen. I actually really like the design of this. Uh, I got some more inspiration offline, but made my own kitchen based off of kind of what I saw. And uh, I'm liking the paintings and everything on the wall with flowers and trees and stuff like that in pots. And then we've even got some meat on display here for what we'd be cooking with the smoker. I really like this kitchen. I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comments below. Next, we have to move on to the living room. It's fairly simple and straightforward, but it still looks pretty nice. 
I mean, there's probably a few things that I would add, like actual bookshelves and maybe a little bit more seating, a little bit more of something in the middle besides just carpet. But I think it looks pretty good so far. We might even add some shelves up there a little bit later. But I'm, I'm kind of content. If you guys have any suggestions for things that we should do in here, please let me know. And on to the bedroom, where up here we've sort of started working with some ideas like we want a double bed, but it's a rather large room for a bedroom and I'm not real sure what to do. I think the first thing is we go ahead and move this out, grab some more slabs here, and I think that looks all right, but I think it does need a little bit of work. Try adding this. All right, that's a step in an okay direction. What if we do this and replace this here, here with more full blocks and something like this? Hey, bear with me. And that is a bed fit for a king. Now we just need to figure out what else to do in here. And I think I've got a few ideas. I gotta say, I like it. I like what we got going on. I ended up making some of these crafted pots, which I <laughs> completely forgot about. Um, added them in there. It adds a nice touch of detail. I have a few different plants in here as well. Got the nice master bed, several paintings around the area. Things are looking great. The, uh, oh, we need to remove this. The only thing is, is I don't have many lanterns around the area. I've got one in here, and then I got one lighting up the area downstairs. Excuse me. This is my house. Rude. Hello? Where is your master? Better question. Where? Ooh, lead. Perfect. Another one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I found some more iron, which would be really good for the lantern situation. Actually, this is phenomenal. Forget the lantern situation. I've, I've got it solved. And that should fix all of those issues. Let's take a quick nap. There's just a few more things we need to take care of before this episode is over. But if you've been enjoying this episode so far, you don't mind twisting that like button and subscribing. It would really help me out a lot. And I would appreciate it so, so much. What I want to do is I want to make this area look a little bit more lived in. I'm thinking that if we come along here and maybe add a path of different kinds of blocks here, we can start lining things out and seeing maybe where we want things to go. Uh, maybe along the way over here, we'll add some sort of farm like I, the one I just dug up. Or maybe even over on this side over here, we'll add a farm or a garden of some sort. And it's going to take a little bit of finagling and figuring out. So let's check this out and see what we can do. So to get started, I know I have some gravel in here. Yes, right there. And some dirt. And what I think will be a really good option is if we come in here and make some coarse dirt. And then I think if we turn these into slabs, that will help give us a nicer looking path. So if we come out here and start adding in our coarse dirt, we can start lining a path out in the direction we want to go and then slowly come along here and every so often come in with a slab just to add a different texture to the path and to make it look like it was intentional and more planned out rather than just having over time somebody having walked along the path. Uh, so it'll be a mixture of, of a bit of both uh, design and then of course making it look like it's been walked on for a while. Now we have a fairly decent path and a good way to lead out into the rest of the meadow while a bit of a garden growing up here as well. So there's a few other things that need to be included like lighting. There is no lighting out here except for the glow lichen that's right there and uh, it's looking kind of rough. Got a couple of bits of iron in my inventory and we may have some more iron up here. Nope. Well... Looks like we're gonna need some more iron. So I think it's time to get for, go for a good old fashioned mining trip and we'll finish decorating this place up in just a little bit. Oh man, I just stumbled upon something. Oh my goodness, this is, this is good. Hi, yep, let me just, yep, okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, hi. Oh my gosh, guys, this is amazing. Um. Oh, <laughs> this is actually a really cool dungeon. I like how it's opened up down here on the bottom and it goes down to the stalagmites. This is amazing. We also have a, a brilliant, brilliant thing that we can use. Uh, ooh, saddle is big. Unbreaking 2, not as big, but pretty big. 
And we'll take the music. That's, that's This is nice. This is really nice. See if we can find any more iron real quick, but then uh, we have to remember how to get out here. Pop that in there with a little extra fire. And while that's going, let's go get ourselves a buddy. Hello. You want to become friends? Yes? No? Yes? No, okay. Are we best friends yet? Are we best friends yet? No, okay. Let's try again. Let's let's just let's just be friends. No? Oh, you've got to be a good donkey if you keep kicking me off so much. Oh, oh, this is so good. All right, let's see. Seem pretty quick for for a donkey. You got you got a bit of jump. You got a bit of jump. This is nice. All right, let's see. We don't really have a place built for you yet, so let's do something like this real quick. You can chill here by the food. You'll be safe, I promise. I gotta get a chest for you real quick, and then we'll go on adventures galore. So we need more light out here, and here's what we're gonna do. I have 13 lanterns, and we're just going to place them around in certain spots where I think they might be good, like there. Mike could get another one right about, right about here. Probably one for Shulk's little lamppost. Another one there. And we'll add a few around the area as well. And now, if we take a quick look at it, I think it's pretty good. I'd say it's complete. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget, if you enjoyed, please make sure you twist that like button and subscribe if you are brand new. And next time, we'll go on some adventures, gather some other blocks for building new things, and we'll figure out what we want to do with the rest of this area.